What's up guys, Random Razor here with another tech video for you guys today and today we take a look at the all new Mujo leather wallet case for the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. So of course without further ado, let's slice this open, slap it on the iPhone and give you guys my quick in-depth review. I reviewed this case for the iPhone 6 and 6s a couple of years ago and it was one of my most popular leather wallet style cases I reviewed. New for this year, I'm really happy that Mujo has brought the leather wallet case to the iPhone 7. The case comes in this very premium style packaging from Mujo, which you can reuse this bag that I include here as well. Pops easily open like so by sliding it out. And the first and only thing that we get of course is the case itself, as well as an authenticity card. So one of the obvious features of this case of course is the card holder on the back here. It looks like you may get away with two cards, but it is primarily used for one card by the looks of it. The leather that wraps this case is a full grain vegetable tan leather. On the interior here you have this Mujo branding as well as a suede material to protect your iPhone finish. One of the highlighted features of this case is the introduction of a molded edge. In comparison to the previous generation Mujo leather wallet case is that this edge here now is significantly more toughened therefore making it resist wear and tear and of course coming apart. But anyways, let's install this onto the iPhone and see what it looks like. As you go for a case like this, I'd probably go power button side first and just snap it into place. And you're all set to go. Anyways, taking a quick overview of this case and what it has to offer, starting off with the front here, we don't have a whole lot of top protection, but the majority of the case does protect the sides of the phone. On the left side of the case here, we do have a large cuddle for your volume rockers as well as your vibrate and ringer switch, and of course a cuddle for the power button on the other side as well. On the bottom case here, we do have a single large cuddle for your stereo speakers, mic, and lightning port. And lastly, on the back of the case here, we do have a large wallet holder for your ID cards, debit cards, and whatnot, and a single large cuddle for your camera, flash, and secondary microphone, the Mujo branding on the bottom here, and of course, this is an all leather tan finish. Overall guys, the first impressions on the Mujo leather wallet case for the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus is fairly positive. It's a high quality and well-made case that is slim and functional at the same time. It was a very popular case when I reviewed the 6 and 6S version a couple years back and seems to be an improved choice for this year. Basically, with the introduction of this molded edge technology that Mujo used with this case, the leather seems to be more rigid and secured to the back polycarbonate shell. Therefore, the case does a better job at resisting peeling back, particularly with the leather, when you're sliding it in and out of your pants. In terms of any cons or things I don't like about this case, I do wish there's a little bit more coverage for protecting your phone, particularly with the uh, top part here as it's completely exposed and there's no ports or buttons or anything, so I don't see why Mujo couldn't cover the top part here. In conclusion guys, for those who are looking for a slim leather wallet case for your iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, you definitely can't go out the Mujo leather wallet case. Anyways, thanks for watching guys, hope you all enjoyed the video, and as always, I have to thank Mujo for shooting this out for review. Hit that like button, as always, helps me out, and I'll see you on the next video.